What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got this 12 gallon battery operated push sprayer. We're gonna go ahead, unbox it, and get this thing set up. So there are additional components inside of the tank. That was all in this box that opened up. And here's your battery. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab C8 and C9 along with the rest of these parts. And then we're gonna start uh, putting them together on the back side of the sprayer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab these and I guess these get added right to these holes right here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our screws. All right, so for the first one, we've got screws. We go from the top down like so, and then we screw these on down here in the back and we'll put the same screws on the other side as well. All right, so after those are in place. Okay, next we're gonna get C5 and, okay, so we're gonna bolt these with the H1 screws. We're gonna run that harness through C5. Now the fastest way to run this wire through this tube is to use some tape and some sort of fishing tool or a rod or anything that you can get through the center of this uh, tube here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just shoot this down in here get it through the other side and then we're just going to tape this on the end here so just like that it's through all right so then we're just going to align our holes here for the screws and then we're going to pass the screw through all right so we got our wire through so the next step is to attach the H9 component out of the package. All right, so here those are. We're gonna put these in. Now these instructions aren't very clear, but I believe this is the correct part to put inside of the uh, wand holder. So we're gonna swap these out. Now that these have been properly assembled with the Phillips head instead of the hex, we're gonna be using the hex on the opposite side to attach these. If this is standing upright, we're gonna want the handles towards us like holding it like this. So the curve goes in. We're gonna have that facing this direction and we're gonna attach this. All right, last step is for us to get these wheels installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rod here and we're gonna slide it through the shaft here. And all we have to do is connect the wheels Want to make sure you have the valve side out. So just slide this in here. All right, for the wheels, we've got the cotter pin, so we're gonna go ahead and put those in. And make sure you put your washers on before you add the cotter pin. All right, so we're gonna get our switch assembly. I'm also gonna slide that down in there. This should actually have gone in there prior to the top screw, so we're gonna take that screw back out slide this in, connect the connector, and then put the screw back in. All right, so what I did is I slid it all the way down. Now I'm gonna attach these connectors here. Okay, so since we've got the switch in place, now I'm gonna slide this up until we see the hole. And then we're gonna slide this through. 
Okay, the last thing for this setup is to get the grips on. Easy way to slide these on quick, get yourself some silicone, spray a little bit of it inside here, and then slide them right on. All right, next up, we're gonna assemble this uh, piece here. So we're gonna start with this rod, and what we wanna do is slide this over here like so. Okay, so we get that in place. And then we're actually gonna attach it through this hole right here. So we're gonna take these screws and put them through there. All right, next we're gonna take this nozzle and we're gonna attach that to it. Okay, so now we're gonna add this to the front. And you'll need these two screws. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, we're gonna route it through this little hole here, and then we're gonna come around and attach it here with a hose clamp. All right, so last piece, it's attaching the hose. Slide it on. Here, we're gonna need another hose clamp. And next, we're gonna take this little clamp here, slide that through. Then, we're gonna get this secured right here. Okay, so now we're gonna attach our wand. Simply place, screw in. And then all we gotta do is tighten up these screws since everything is fit, the fitment looks good. We're gonna tighten everything up. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set this battery on the charging station and get it charged up so that we can actually get this thing used. So the setup is pretty straightforward and manageable. So the only parts we have left over, we got some uh, hose clamps, extra washers, all the other parts we used. So as you can see, the setup on this thing was pretty straightforward, not too involved. Setup's done right now. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna tighten down our bolts, make sure everything's nice and tight, everything, fitment is good, we're not missing anything. As for this video, we're done. And so I catch you guys on the next one.